done so in this particular video we will be looking into the pytorch function of con transpose 2d so basically uh, i have uh, already created a ppt at the code so you can find them in the description below okay so uh, if you can see over here it basically says it applies a 2d convolution operation over an input image composed of several input planes basically let's go to the ppt in order to understand that okay so let's go over here and start with our presentation so um, transpose convolution again uh, i have already made a theory video but here i'll be only focusing mostly on the uh, implementation part okay so what is tra simple transpose uh, convolution we will be seeing in, in this particular video also we will be looking at the stride we'll be looking at padding we'll be looking at output padding and we'll be looking at dilation also one important formula that i want you to remember is output equal to so this is for the output size okay so this is output size equal to input size minus 1 into stride minus 2 into padding plus kernel size uh, plus output padding okay so let's start so uh, let's assume this is our uh, uh, image or input whatever and this is our kernel okay so in order to find uh, what is going to be the output size as i had uh, written in the uh, previous slide the the formula is output size equal to input input is 3 cross 3 as you can see input is 3 cross 3 so 3 minus 1 into stride assuming stride is 1 so we have assumed stride is 1 padding is 0 okay uh, into stride minus 2 into padding padding is 0 right now uh, plus kernel size kernel size this is 2 cross 2 right so kernel size is 2 plus output padding which is 0 so this is 2 into 1 minus 0 plus 2 plus 0 so this is 4 okay so as you can see over here 4 cross 4 is the output now how this is done so basically what you do is you take the uh, or you take this particular in, uh, first value you take it from here after that you multiply it with all the values of the kernel and you basically write it over here so in which position in this green position okay so once you do that you get two four six and eight so um, already i have explained this in the theory videos you, which is uploaded on the channel you can go and see right now only i have uploaded it but uh, this is the idea okay you take one particular element uh, multiply it with all the values of the kernel and basically write it okay so in the next step what happens it, this uh, red box comes over here and uh, the green box goes one step to the right okay and then again the same process you take this particular element multiply it with all the values of the kernel and then write it over here so the 3 into 1 is 3 so this is 4 plus 3 then again 3 into 2 is 6 so you write over here 6 uh, 3 into 3 is 9 so you do here right here plus 9 and 3 into 4 is 12 you write here 12 okay same thing over here that i have said and you go on for um, as long as you can in this particular element you go over here one this green one comes over here and then you all again multiply the kernel values and place them over here similarly you go to the next step and so on and so forth this happens and you get this final answer so if you compute that this is your final answer okay let's talk a little bit about strides so if you look at the strides, so let me just go back to the uh, to say your uh, uh, simple example which uh, the code is in the uh, the link of the code is in the description and I want you to show the code that's why I have written it over here so let's assume this is our this was our image this was our image and this was our kernel okay uh, the same things that I have done so once you hit shift and enter and then what you do you say padding equal to 0 and stride equal to 1 there is nothing that we have seen this is the simplest form okay this is the simplest form that one we have seen in the past so let's go over here this one this is what I am talking about okay this is what I am talking about. So you do uh, nn dot functional. Even though this is functional, this works even for your. Uh, th this this is the same. This is the functional implementation. Okay, nothing changes for us. You assume this is the case. Okay, this is what function we are using. So here there is in channel, there is out channels. Again, these are just channels. Okay, you remember channels are basically. <clears throat> channels are basically your uh, number of kernels that you will have okay so in channels is number of kernels that you already have channels are, uh, out channels is basically kernels in channels is again it is the height width and channel dimension the depth dimension is the channel dimension over here okay and the out channels is basically the number of kernels kernel size is um, you know something that we have already seen in uh, to say your convolution and uh, stride we will see padding we will see output padding we will see groups are again very very easy uh, bias we have already seen uh, it's not very difficult dilation we will see uh, padding uh, mode is very very simple we have already covered this in uh, to say your convolution so we'll be basically focusing on the three four parts which is stride padding kernel output padding and uh, dilation okay <clears throat> so we will first look into the uh, let me go to the code itself so 
we will take the input which is this particular input that we have given we will also take the kernel which is already given over here this tried i have taken it is as de uh, default which is one and padding as default which is zero so if you do that you get this particular output over here so you see 2772 i hope this is the same 2772 and all the values that are there are in here itself okay so which means our implementation was correct now let's talk about strides okay so we can go over here and we will start to present and then we'll figure out what you can do with the strides okay let me just go to that particular um, place and here it is so we have now we can now talk about strides okay so um strides basically is very very simple okay what happens is again how do i know this is six cross six same we'll use the formula output equal to input input is again three cross three itself we have not changed the input so three minus one what we have changed is the stride so stride right now i'm taking it as two so into two minus two into padding padding is already zero we have not changed it so two into padding plus kernel size kernel size is two cross two so kernel is true uh, sorry two and plus output padding output padding again we have taken as zero so two in two minus uh, three minus one is two into two minus zero plus two plus zero that's four plus two that's six okay so this is how i got six cross six now same operation you take this particular element the first element and then you multiply it with the kernel the entire kernel so two into one is two two into two is four two into three is six and two into four is eight so obviously the first time your green uh, stuff where the output is going to be is here is in the first place okay now what happens once you take a next step obviously here the stride will not change because here the will come over here only however since you have said stride equal to two instead of the green kernel going over here the green not kernel the, the green output going here the green box going here it will now go over here why because you have said stride equal to two it will take this step rather than taking this step okay so you can see over here again this was the output now you see the green has come over here it did not go in this position unlike the previous steps okay again uh, you will do the same operation you will take this three multiplied with the entire kernel again you will get over here three into one is three three two is six three three is nine and three four is twelve so you will see 3, 6, 9, 12. Now again, you might have already guessed it. This one will go only one step. However, since we are using stride equal to 2, our green one will come over here. Okay. So you can see over here. This is the one over here that we have uh, in the input. And our green uh, is a box has come over here. Again, you will multiply 1 with the entire kernel. You will get again the same kernel. We will copy paste the kernel here. Only. 1, 2, 3, 4. And what happens now? so after this what will happen is obviously this red box will now come over here however the green box will also not come over here it will not come over here why because here the stride is equal to one but we have already said stride equal to two which means over here so our green box will come over here so we go to the next step you can actually see our green box has come over here now same story so element is zero multiplied with the kernel everything will be zero because anything multiplied zero zero is zero again same step you go to the next next uh, what to say uh, input over here so this is four you multiply with the kernel you'll get over here four into one is four four two ja eight four three ja twelve and four four ja sixteen so you can see you get that only over here <clears throat> so you can continue this i have not i think i have not given the output over here but i can show you the output in the code okay so yeah we have not given the output but i'm going to show you the output in the code so you come over here you say stride equal to zero padding equal to uh, sorry stride equal to two padding as usual is was zero so we'll just run this particular uh, <coughs> cell and uh, input and kernel is something that we have uh, fixed already so this has not changed so you can see uh, six cross six is the output and the same thing that we had seen over here two four three six one two here so you can go is it two four three over here you can see two four three two four three six one two the same thing okay so this was our output so let's go back and let's look at padding so if you um look at the padding here start from beginning so i don't think there is way of going directly over here i i start from the current slide i hope it's yes it starts from the current slide we can go over here and we can change to pen because i need it and we will see the padding now so padding here is very very simple so this was the output okay so in the last case we saw six cross six was the output now what happens if padding equal to one okay so if padding equal to one what you do is from all the four corners you remove one 
particular row or column so from so we'll remove the first row we'll remove the left column we'll remove the bottom row and we'll remove the right column so this was six cross six we have removed one row and one column from top and bottom and left and right what we are left with is four cross four now the way to find out is we remove, remember the formula output equal to input input if you remember was three cross three this is not the input this is as you can see it's it was the output that we got in the last step okay so input minus one input was three so three minus one into the stride in the last case we took stride equal to two minus two into padding here padding equal to one so we have to put one not zero okay uh, plus uh, we have to put the kernel so kernel was uh, two cross two so plus two plus output padding here is zero so we'll keep it as zero so two minus uh, sorry three minus one is two two into two is four minus two plus two so what will happen is two and two cancels and plus zero to zero only so two into two that's four you can see four cross four now what happens if you take padding equal to two same thing you take the remove the first row and the second row so you remove two rows from uh, sorry two yeah two rows from the top two rows from the bottom and two uh, columns from the left you remove this and this and two columns from the right you also remove this and this so what you are left with you are left with only two cross two okay so let's take an example so this was the output in the last uh, section that we had seen okay this was the output so if you say padding equal to one what will happen one row for uh, one column from the left one row from the top one column from the right and one row from the bottom will be removed what we are left with is four cross four and yes this is exactly what we are left with four cross four same thing if what we uh, if we have padding output equal to out, uh, padding equal to 2 you remove two rows from the top you uh, remove two rows from uh, two columns from the left two columns from the right and also you remove uh, two rows from the bottom so you remove this particular row and you remove this particular row what is left is 2 cross 2 so you can go over here you can see this is our output you can also use this formula and verify okay so after this i think is output padding output padding is very very simple first i'll in fact i'll explain it over here only and then i will okay let me first go and uh, write uh, show it in the code okay the this padding part because i have not done so we'll keep uh, stride equal to 2 and here you have added padding equal to 1 so what we'll do is we'll just hit shift and enter and you can see the output will over here come to be 4 cross 4 if you remember 8 is 9 12 3 if you remember over here also it was 8 9 12 3 and the same output over here okay after that what happens is let's say you are taken uh, if you do over here output equal to 2 okay you will get that smaller output 4 plus 4 output that we remember yeah so this is what you get now what happens if you have output padding so let's go for the output padding part so let's assume uh, so let me go and put here the pen again this is already there so output padding okay <clears throat> output padding is very simple so this has uh, you know output padding is over here 0 so forget about this 0 the formatting has changed a little bit and we'll just remove here one and we say output padding equal to one if you see this entire was the output in the last part okay in the uh, in the stride part this has been retained as it is over here okay this has been retained as it is over here what has changed since you said output padding equal to one one row, one column and one row of output equal to, of uh, zeros has been added at the uh, uh what is say uh, right hand and the bottom part this is the only views of output padding okay there is no other use of this so you can also verify this this is only one step over here that i had written you can output uh, so you can see output padding here i have removed the padding i have set padding equal to zero because we already had the padding not required now only output padding is there so if you run this particular cell <coughs> What you will see is that uh, one uh, uh, column of uh, zero has been added and one row of zero has been added over here. These are the only two things that has changed. Okay. Now let's get back to this particular uh, uh, slide. Now let's talk about dilation a little bit. Okay. So dilation is also very, very simple. Okay. Dilation is very, very simple. You basically introduce zeros. Okay. So you will do the dilation. What happens is here when you say in here in dilation only works, dilation works on kernel okay dilation works on kernel over here what happens is you when you say could, uh, dilation equal to zero there are no zeros in between but when you say dilation equal to one uh, zeros are added in between in the columns and in the row over here so this one is already there one this two is already there two this three is already there three this four is already there four but what has happened the difference zeros have been added in between 
and in uh, yeah in the row and in the column this is the only thing that has happened so i hope this was the yeah, this is the end of our particular slideshow if you can if you want to do this here also you can change you know you can just do output padding equal to one and you can have this like this over here and if you want to just show it uh, okay, you can also do that. So this was for the kernel. This was for the dilation doesn't matter output padding equal to one You have put dilation equal to one over here. You can see dilation equal to one But you will not be able to see anything because the kernel changes and not the output So whatever if you do this in a practically you will find this is our answer over here Or if you remove the output padding you can remove it. No worries. Okay, so output padding will also be need to be removed from here because um, we have removed that so again you have to do shift and enter and you can see this is our output okay uh, so uh, i don't think there is much to cover uh, groups and thing okay groups <clears throat> so uh, what i have explained is obviously given over here there is not much to think about uh, groups if you remember again very you know very fancy concept i have never used it and most of i have never seen in any code where groups are being used but i can think of certain conditions where it can be used basically what happens in groups is basically let me go and take one more slide over here um let's see if we can get some space uh, uh you have to insert a slide so we need to go and insert a blank slide over here and uh, let's click on this and let's go for a uh what to say display okay so once you do that what is groups so let's say um, you have a particular uh, image over here and it has some channels okay so some channels are here so some channels are here so what happens is <clears throat> in groups so let's say there are four channels okay in groups what you can say these first two channels will be group one and these two last two channels over here will be group two okay in group one you will have a different set of kernels which will have these kernels will only operate on group one and then a separate set of kernels will only operate on group two okay so these are the only things so the kernels initially what used to happen is if you have a kernel it will work in all the depths okay but if you have groups then one kernel will only work on one particular group there can be many kernels in one group but whatever the kernel is there to one group that kernel will not be used in other group that is the idea again fancy concept not useful okay so i hope that helps i think i have not skipped anything over here or i have not uh, just left again uh, parameters these are uh, this can be either a single integer again in which case the same value is used for height and width dimensions not very important because we generally use it we are not uh, the you know highest level of researchers we are trying to learn deep learning okay these are some fancy things that most people don't use so you don't have to worry okay after that i think i have covered i have covered dilation bias again if you want bias if you don't want bias if you if you have seen my convolution video you already know it output padding padding stride kernel in channels out channels i have already explained so i hope um, and this formula also i have already given to you so you don't have to worry okay um yeah i think that is it there's nothing uh, because uh, dilation I had not used that's why plus one was not required whatever okay so uh, I hope you like the video if you like please like and subscribe thank you very much and